If you're a coach and you're not making the money you would like to be making month after month to rest easy and feel good about the direction your coaching business is headed in, and you're worried about where the money is going to come from in two months or three months from now, this video is for you. I wanna help you change your mindset around how you are offering your coaching services so that you can move away from those smaller packages and into bigger high-end packages that allow you to charge a thousand, three thousand, five thousand, even ten thousand dollars because they are packed with so much value and they are going to allow your clients to get amazing results. The kind of results that are going to make them go, I can't believe that's all I paid for this. What a steal. And then they're gonna to wanna to tell all of their friends and you're gonna get referrals like crazy. Yes, it is possible. And in this video, I wanna show you the step-by-step -step process on how to do that. If we haven't met yet, my name is Tanya Rainier. I have been business coaching here online since 2015, helping women entrepreneurs work through their money mindset issues and build badass businesses that give them fulfillment and financial freedom. The biggest obstacle we as women entrepreneurs run into is the failure to recognize how valuable we are and what our services are actually worth. So I've spent years in the realm of money mindset helping around this, and I wanna help you with this too by creating packages that really represent your value and give you that financial peace of mind because as a coach, you are doing really important work in this world. And in order for you to impact more people and make a bigger difference, you have to make money. And I wanna help you do that. So if that is your jam and you want more videos like this, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos here weekly that are going to help you build a badass business online. And also, if you have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments below. I hang out here every day and. I will be back here to answer your questions. All right, let's dive in. So let's start with what most coaches do. I did it, you may have done it, you may be doing it now, where when you start to sell your coaching services, you may do so on a small scale where you're charging per session at first. Now, that's a great way to get started if you're new. I would definitely suggest starting with this option because it's going to be a low risk offer. It's going to give people the opportunity to work with you without a huge commitment, either via time or financially. And it's gonna allow you to get the experience in coaching people so that you can build your confidence and also give you that social proof. So definitely a great way to start. And then what typically is the next step is you start to build out packages around time where you sell a bundle of coaching sessions over a period of time at a discounted rate. So this may look like a hundred dollars a session. And if we work together for a month, we're going to meet once a week. And instead of $400, it's going to be 350. Or if you commit for three months, that package of sessions is a thousand dollars instead of $1,200, which you would have paid if you bought the individual sessions. So it seems like, okay, this is a discount. There's an incentive to buy in bulk and pay in advance. But the flaw in this method is that you're still selling time and not value. And that's the mindset switch I want to help you with today. Because when you offer people bundles of your time, they're looking at that going, okay, so one hour is worth this much or one week is worth this much. And if I buy more of her time, I get her time discounted at a better rate. And if you say there's value in that, well, you wouldn't be wrong because there is value in saving money. People value saving money, but it's not necessarily the best approach when it comes to creating value-based high ticket coaching packages, because everyone has time, the same 24 hours in a day, which means your time can easily be compared to somebody else's time. And so when you're selling only your time in that way, it's easy for a prospective client to look at your packages or your bundles of time and go, well, three months with her is $1,000, but three months with this other person, that's $800. This is a better value. And that is what we wanna steer away from because 
The reality may be that you offer way more value in terms of how you're going to get that client to results than the person who's offering their package at a price less than you are. So the point is, I want you to look at this and, and understand why I am taking you into this five-step process because I want to move you away from selling your time, even at a bundle discounted rate, and into the mindset of selling your value. So how do you get to a place where you are able to sell packages worth $1,000, 3000 5000 even $10,000 or more, and have your clients walking away from that experience with you going, that was amazing. I cannot believe that's all she charged. And then running and telling all their friends about you because they think that they got so much of a bargain with that package that it's like blowing their mind, right? That's what you want. You want to create win-win scenarios, packages that are, are so transformational and packed with value that that is the experience and the impression you leave people with. And this is how you do that. You start with step one, which is really understanding, and I mean inside and out, backwards and forwards, what your client's problem is. Now, people pay for solutions to problems. And if they don't have a problem that they need your help to solve, well, there's not a reason for them to pay you, am I right? So it's really about knowing who your ideal client is and really getting inside their head. And when I say ideal client, I don't just mean she's 30, she has two kids, and she drives an SUV and lives in a house. Those are demographics. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about understanding the emotions and the mental processes that your ideal client is going through. Understanding what phase of their journey they are in so that you can meet them where they are and hone your services to meet them where they are and help them to solve the problem that they have right now. If you have not done the work to figure out exactly who your ideal client is and create that profile so you understand them in this way, I have a video that I'll pop up here that you can check out that is going to walk you through that process. And I have a playbook that you can download. It's got a workbook in there that's gonna help you do this so that you can go deeper and really answer this question because it's foundational in creating coaching packages that are so valuable you can charge more for them. Okay, step two is understanding your client's pain points. Now, this is taking what we did in step one and going even deeper because you wanna make sure your coaching package is addressing what is the most painful for them. So they may have a problem but if it's not bringing pain into their life, they're not gonna be very motivated to solve it. Now I'm gonna give you a silly example. Let's pretend my grass in my front yard has some weeds in it. If you own a lawn company, you might walk by and think, ooh, this is the perfect client for me. Knock, knock, knock. Would you like us to service your lawn and get the weeds out? Now here's the thing. If that is not causing me pain, I'm gonna have no motivation to let you come in and take care of my lawn. However, if I am feeling shame because everyone else in my neighborhood has impeccable lawns, if I have tried everything I can possibly think of to fix my lawn and it's still full of weeds and dying in some places and I'm embarrassed, I'm ashamed, I am mortified to go outside in my front yard when my neighbors are outside, then I may be a little bit more motivated to hire you to come in and solve my problem. Do you see the difference? There's emotion there. I am ashamed, I am mortified, I'm embarrassed. Those are the emotions that move people to buy. So it's not about manipulating, it's not necessarily even about uh, inventing emotions and shaming people into buying your stuff. We don't wanna go that route. But what we do wanna know is what keeps them up at night? What is causing stress in their life? And what is the motivation to change? Somebody who just was diagnosed with high blood pressure, now they have a problem, but are they motivated to fix it? Well, if their doctor tells them that they're likely to have a heart attack or a stroke in the next two months, and there's the possibility that they may not live to see their kids graduate or get married, well then there is pain, there's emotion, there's motivation to want to change. 
And they're gonna go out and start looking for solutions to their problem because they want this pain to go away. So first, you need to identify the problem. Second, you need to identify the pain that this problem is causing in their life so that you can understand their motivation for wanting to get rid of the pain. Number three is the promise that your coaching package is going to deliver. So what can you absolutely promise that they're going to walk away with after this experience with you? You're gonna walk away with a green lawn that all of your neighbors are jealous of. You're gonna walk away with lower blood pressure, but not just lower, you're gonna look good, you're gonna feel good, and your doctor is going to be like, OMG, what did you do? You're gonna walk away with a stronger marriage than you ever thought possible, where the two of you are having healthy conversations and more quality time than you've ever had, including back when you were dating. You're gonna walk away with a social media marketing plan so that you know exactly what to post on social media every single day to grow your audience without having to hustle through that trial and error process. Do you see how that works? So you have a promise. What do you absolutely know for sure that you can deliver that is going to address the problem and the pain? Okay, so you know where your client is starting. They are over here at point A where they have a problem and they're in pain and they're actively searching for a solution to that problem. And you wanna get them all the way to point Z, which is the promise that you're offering. This is the solution. This is where the problems and the pain go away and everything is happy and amazing and they've had the most wonderful experience and they're like mind blown on how easy that was. And they're telling all their friends about you and they're sending you referrals, right? Like the win-win. You got paid well, they got a result, everybody's happy. Now, how do you do that? You do that through something that only you can do, which is your proven process, which is step number four. This is the part where I want you to really sit down and go, okay, I know where they're starting and I know where I wanna take them, A to Z. What are all the steps in between? What is step B, step C, step, step D, and however many more there are? How is it that you are going to take them step by step through the process of reaching the desired result? What does that look like? Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to put time and money out of your mind for a minute. I don't want you thinking, oh my gosh, but there's a lot of steps and I don't know if they would pay that, that's gonna take a really long time. I don't know if they're gonna to wanna to commit to that much time. Here's what I wanna tell you. When people are really motivated to get to the result and they are in deep pain, they understand sometimes that getting to the goal is going to be a process. People who are totally out of shape don't sign up for a marathon and expect to be running it like a boss in like two weeks, they know that they've got to train and that it's gonna take time, which is why people sign up for marathons months in advance and then they do the whole couch to 5K app <laughs> or uh, run keeper or whatever to train themselves. They know it's going to take time, energy, discipline. And when they want the result that bad, they will invest in getting it. So I want you to keep that in mind. I want you to take away all of the limiting beliefs for a moment. And instead, I want you to really sit down and go, okay, here's the perfect situation. I want to take my perfect client from point A to point Z. I want to get them out of pain into a place where they're celebrating. What is that going to look like? What have I done in the past? What did I do to get from A to Z? What have I done for clients to help them get from A to Z? And what does that process look like? And then you can go back and go, okay, how much time do I think that this is going to take? And then maybe put a time frame around what this package should be. Because it's less about the time that it's going to take or the money that they are going to invest to get to the results and more about the process itself, the value that you are bringing to the table, your signature process, your experience in doing this yourself or helping other people, knowing what works and what doesn't, understanding the fastest way to get there, and knowing exactly what to do when the roadblocks come up. And having this mapped out is going to allow you to easily answer the question, 
well, how do you work? So when somebody asks you, how do you work? You're gonna be like, well, let me tell you, <laughs> this is what working with me would look like. And this is how we're gonna work together. And what's really great about this is it allows them to kind of paint a visual picture of what it's like to work with you so they know exactly what to expect. That way, when they are making the decision to commit to working with you, they can kind of look forward into the future and go, I really identify with this process. I love the way that this is gonna unfold. I'm really aligning with her methods and, and her procedures. Yes, this is a no brainer. Because let me tell you something, there are a lot of coaches out there and no matter how niched down you are, there are other people out there doing exactly what you do, addressing the same problems and pain points and promising the same types of solutions. But what makes you unique is your process. Nobody does it like you. Nobody brings the same experiences to the table. Nobody addresses the problem and takes people on a process to get to a, a solution in the same way. This is what makes you unique and extremely valuable. It's your past experiences of you going through this process yourself. It's you taking other clients through this process and helping people get proven results over and over. And this is what allows you to create a value-based package because now people aren't paying for an hour with you a week. They're paying for a proven process that gets them to a desired result. Now, number five is the perks that you include with your package. This is literally the icing on the cake when it comes to creating high ticket coaching packages. Your perks are all of the extras, the additional value that you bring on top of what you've already promised them. These are the things that are going to help them stay focused, stay motivated, stay inspired, overcome blocks, obstacles, setbacks. It's the additional personal attention that you are going to give them or the additional resources. So this could look like hopping on a call with them when they are struggling and you know you don't have a coaching session for another four or five days. And you're like, I don't want them to struggle for five days. So you know what, let's just hop on a quick phone call. It could look like Voxer support or text message motivation or reminders for that additional accountability. It could be resources like a resource vault or checklists that you've put together, templates that you find are really helpful. It could be adding in group support or mastermind support so that they can get additional help from peers. I mean, I could go on and on and on for days about all the ways that you are probably already bringing value to your coaching relationships that you may not even be recognizing as things. So I want you to take a moment and think about all of the value that you bring in the form of perks. And if you're not already adding these in, think about ways that you can add them in. So think of these as maybe bonuses. This is going to help your clients get to that result faster and ensure their success. So not only are you solving their problem and getting them out of pain and helping them to get to a solution, which is that promise, but you are also taking them through a signature process. And that alone is worth paying for. But on top of it, just to make sure that they are like crazy successful, you're gonna throw these perks in that is just icing on the cake, added bonuses that are totally relevant to what it is that they are going through and are going to help them move along that process quicker, easier, and more successfully. All right, beautiful. Was that helpful for you? If so, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know your biggest takeaway. If you have questions, leave them there as well. And if you did find this valuable, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified when I drop more videos every week, just like this one, to help you grow your badass business online. Have an amazing day and week, and I will see you back here on the next video.